I've spent 4,385 days building in this hardcore world. This is my starter base. This is the city I've built around that base. And around the city, we have the rest of this. I've also done some work in the nether, a tiny build in the end, and a little bit more building in the overworld. But in this series, I set a goal to build an interconnected fantasy world, not just a massive mega base. So today we're breaking away and building a massive road towards the location of a new project. Who says long-term worlds can't still have a fresh beginning? With that, leave a like for your flipper on the video and please subscribe. Before we get started, I have one quick project I want to do in this part of the world. I've wanted to add a small mountain creek running behind where I spawned into this world nearly two years ago. There was already a waterfall running through here, but with the path cleaned up a little bit more, we can add in some more water to make it more of a feature piece inside of this world. Then with all of that water in place, I want to also run along the riverbed, adding in some muddy mangrove roots, coarse dirt, and a tiny bit of rooted dirt to texture up the sides. Now, all that does need to be covered with some foliage to really fit in here. So I'm adding sweet berry bushes, some sugarcane, tall grass, a few patches of flowers, and some mangrove leaves. This did all cut into one of my pathways, however, so I did have to rebuild that as a bridge using some campfires to just get away across. Where this region is really something special now. Okay, I know I said little project, but I got a little carried away. As I also spent quite a few hours building up some more custom trees that I've been meaning to do for a while. But I swear we'll actually be building a big road today. This road just needed a little bit more decoration. Oh, my shulkers. One more thing, my elytra is nearly broken. So let's go fix that with a quick trip down into the nether and leaving the safety of the nether hub as I can easily get the experience needed to repair my elytra at my wither skeleton farm. This thing is honestly so dang nice to have. Building roads in Minecraft to link up all of my builds is honestly one of my favorite things to do inside of this game. It's so simple, but it makes such a big difference when it comes to bringing the world to life. Today, we are connecting my current city build project to a desert biome a few thousand blocks blocks away. This is going to be a really long journey with a lot of obstacles to build solutions for along the way. Continuing out of the flower forest village will probably be the simplest route to move forward. So I want to start by extending the path a good distance coming down here. Now I know I could use path blocks to make this really, really simple for the road itself, but I've done course dirt so far in this region. And I think for now, I want to stick with that moving forwards. Maybe once we get a good distance away, we can change it up if we reach a new biome. But for now, I think this is going to fit the theme. Moving forward on a little bit more road building and we've reached the first obstacle where I need to build a bridge across the river right here. And to get started, we can use some of the grass blocks I picked up while creating the road so far. It looks like we have 28 blocks to go to get across not the worst thing and I'm definitely gonna need to clear these trees for the middle 14 blocks of the bridge I want to raise it up just another so we have a slight slope on this guy and we can probably have it connecting down to the ground here or maybe we go a few blocks back and make it a longer arch it's not quite centered over the river so I'm gonna rethink this and by rethinking it I mean I'm gonna build the road out a little bit further on its own mound which will then make the distance the bridge needs to go a little bit shorter this here is a lot better for the bridge outline now for the bridge itself, I want to work with the coarse dirt into some spruce planks and then mud brick slabs to keep within that browner tone. To keep it a little bit more mob safe on top, I'm thinking some glow lichen along these outer edges should work out pretty well. Here we can grab some stone brick materials and create the base archway above the river itself. And so it's not just a completely flat face here. I want to bring a little bit of our tough block material up to widen the support for the bridge. And on the corners to help curve it a bit, I'm going to add in some glass panes, which is going to get repeated on all the sides. To keep the bridge on theme with everything else, I'm thinking we're bringing a little bit of our cobblestone. We could bring in a little bit of our mossy cobble and the andesite right over here. Then in between a few of these points, I want to have some posts that are kind of come up and we can do like a chiseled stone brick on top for a little bit more of our decoration. And then you know what? On top of that, let's get prismarine walls and then a fence and we can do something a little bit more decorative like this in here bring our walls back in maybe so it's not all the same we get rid of the prismarine up there and do a little stone bricky wall i think i like that more but here for some fun pops of color i was thinking some cyan glass and then we bring in our warp trap doors along the top yeah that's kind of fun and you can still see through it okay and I think that'll work for the bridge sloping down. But we are going to need a little bit more light on here. There goes the rest of the first side. Now, underneath the bridge in here, I want to add in some cobble deep slate to hide the underside of the road. 
that should do a pretty good job in here and finally here's the back side of the bridge coming into the world this will allow boats to go underneath easily and it definitely meets the standard for being usable by horse one last thing in this spot before we fully cross over the river i want to keep the lanterns close to where we have buildings and people living inside of the world which means it might be a little bit more dangerous traveling by night when we're not close to somewhere but i also kind of like that idea if there's lights absolutely everywhere along the pathways it's gonna look a little too artificial to me now i am almost out of lanterns though we can definitely fix this i was so close hello villagers lanterns please thank you for your business that'll do moving across the bridge now we've reached the next biome a forest which comes with the added challenge of removing all of the trees and leaves to clear space for the road and all of the tree trunks along the path are now removed however we have something to fix the leaves are connecting back to the old trees which means they're not gonna decay so removing the connection along these lines that'll go for the old trees should cause these ones to disappear now this here is looking so much cleaner just the last few leaves needed a keg well with that it's time to actually throw the road in surprisingly that gave a lot of logs and i was nearly out of birch but back to the road itself i'm continuing with the course dirt here across the entire island and i've got to say i've never really bothered looking at this place other than just flying over it and i'm thinking now it could be so fun to build a little hamlet at the top building out all of these roads just gives me so much inspiration for what i want to decorate along the way just fill up the world imagine taking all of the custom birch forest trees over there and covering this entire island one day one day we'll customize the entire world but for now back to the road and what the what the heck is this is this a trail ruin where's my brush it is almost dead um let's see what we can find in here there's first suspicious gravel it's a hoe assured candle candle not a, not assured I've never been in this type of trail ruin before. It looks like we have a staircase going down, which is pretty fun. And we have the floor. There's more below the floor. I was really not expecting to find this. I can't tell you how many times I've flown over this area since 1.20 release and never noticed it. I guess that goes to show why we should travel by foot every once in a while around our Minecraft worlds to catch these things. 1.20 is actually such a fun update because these are a really welcome distraction to projects and the loot inside them is actually pretty worth it to grab and there goes the brush okay honestly if we're not expecting to find one that's a decent amount of stuff in here not to mention all the gravel we can use for more coarse dirt there's definitely a lot more i can find inside of that trail ruin but i really would like to refocus back on the road for now before i get eternally distracted so the path doesn't look too steep coming down i think we can do a little bit of terraforming along here and just kind of curve it along the edge of the hill and it's okay if it gets a little bit skinnier when we're coming down these slopes because it's a touch harder to work with on the angles now about this point we could probably do a little terraforming and turn the path over here to bring it down to ground level a little bit easier and it keeps going down oh boy well something like this should be fine i just need to come down into this little section that connects the island back to the land so i guess it's all a peninsula and then we have to figure out a way to go all the way up this pretty steep cliff face where's that trail rune oh oh it's right here oh wait we could kind of go up here and right along that and then we can go right next to the ruin we got a plan let's do it repeating pretty much everything i've already done on this section of the road i'm trying to make the path as smooth as i can coming up the far side of the mountain to make it a bit more realistic instead of just going straight up i know i can do that and make it work in minecraft but that's just boring we are here for the vibes after all so i will always sacrifice functionality for aesthetics to make something look better and as safety is our number one priority here wait wait sorry wrong series wrong series but regardless we're gonna need some rails coming along this way so people don't fall off the edge of the mountain by people i mean myself just these little parts of the fences here help this feel like such more of a well-traveled part of the world and i love it so far today we've already connected my starter house across six biomes and over 1400 blocks along this brand new road with a beautiful bridge all the way to the edge of the forest here where the road continues but i had an idea this road is going to be pretty bland and look really rough if there's nothing to look at along the journey so over here i want to build a small farmstead to break up the skyline as we are walking forwards i just have to get the road to that point first
seems like we already have some bandits along the road but this is gonna be the perfect place to branch off down here as it goes up that way so i want to run around and lay down a few cobblestone foundations for different buildings at the farmstead this is all gonna be set dressing so it doesn't need to be massive pretty much just a place i can run in and sleep if i need to if we're traveling by night we have the door into the main farmhouse right over in here and i absolutely love the massive flower field down here so i'm gonna replant it somewhere else like right up here behind it to save a little on the course dirt count i think in the middle here i'm just gonna work in some regular dirt and inside the stables too for the floor the dirt in the floor over here does help us stand out a bit from the road too i'm just winging it on these buildings as a challenge only using the resources i have inside my ender chest so i've just got to make some sacrifices on the detail as i go but i think this is also a really good thing to do every once in a while just kind of forcing yourself to make the build work with whatever you have i find it actually helps me come up with some unique idea I gotta say, this actually turned out really well. I don't even remember the last time I used oak stairs for a roof, but uh, I'm here for it. Maybe we can just extend that down. Yeah, that looks nice. Moving along to the next building, though, this right over here is meant to be a horse stables of sorts. Or I'm thinking because there's so many sheep, or there were sheep, there they are. This can be a little barn for some sheepies to hang out in. I'm thinking along the back here, we just turn this into a few tough bricks well tough blocks man I wish we had tough brick for the back and only send that in like an L shape over to here with the tough we can add in a little bit of our cobblestone over here and then this outer wall I'm thinking we just turn it into some spruce as if they had to rebuild part of the stables so some is out of the original stones and this is the new rebuild and we're gonna stick with the plan so far of using our oak going all the way across and this time it's gonna be out of some slack that looks pretty good and then we can just have a lantern maybe right there because it's getting very dark and spooky grabbing a few of our leads i want to go bring some of those sheepies back home oh there's actually four. Oh, there's five there's so many sheep Okay, we're gonna bring you 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 and you come on buddies let's get a move on just gallop your way in here perfect okay in the pen now, i mentioned earlier about turning this into a place where i can sleep if i need to so we can actually use the wool off the sheep to make a bed which will go inside the beautiful interior that we're leaving and closing that door forever with the animals in i added in a grain silo as well as a small wood chopping area to the farmstead and i gotta say this is looking pretty great down in here i absolutely love it i got a little table over here too and one thing i want to show you all i have a data pack that allows me to shear item frames so this guy can just be sitting there ready to chop some more logs and for one last little detail maybe they're sending some of the logs down to another neighbor down the road on a little cart and that's should do you know what every farmstead needs in a minecraft world a field you bet i found a way to build a field while building a giant road in this hardcore world we are now 4400 days into this series and i hope y'all are enjoying it if you're new be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future uploads and if you've been a fan for a while tell me something cool you've been up to recently in the comments let's share some good vibes to the 41st field in this world and there we go a new field and a brand new build in this world except i did realize the sheepies can't regrow their wool so they're gonna get a little bit of grass in here that should be enough now back to working on the road as we slowly inch our way closer to the desert that is roughly this direction i'll figure that out after we get to the top of this hill We can just kind of level this section off down here with a little bit more of our grass block action and then nobody's gonna know that there's a hole underneath and a few skeletons have attacked me from this side so we'll just seal this in here too like there's no cave whatsoever even looking back this way at the farmstead that actually turned out really nice i love that okay we gotta keep working down this direction where there's a village wait hold up a second here i it still has bells I haven't raided this one. Okay, I've got an idea. We're going to take the road through the middle of that village. To go through the village first, I need to reach the village. So I spent a while extending the coarse dirt road all the way over to them, where I am down to just over a stack of coarse dirt, and that's going to be a bit of a problem. So inside of our village here, we can transition out of the coarse dirt and moving into some of the path blocks. Not only does this match the existing village style, but it's going to help me save just a few blocks on this road, which, uh 
we still got a long ways to go and I'm also out of gravel. I think we can add a little bit of coarse dirt down here though. So it transitions a bit more smoothly than just coming down the slab. And maybe that path block comes up this direction just a touch too. I feel like walking into the village, we need some sort of a decorative archway in here. So let's take some of our bamboo, turn that into some slabs, and then we can come over the sides and go there. And probably we can do five wide like this. And then coming up one, two, three, four, and five. I was thinking we just work some of our bamboo slabs going up just a bit here. And then that can step back down where we start with something a little like this that I think will work. And if we put these, do they go in? Th they can. Oh boy. But I'm thinking we actually hang those here across the middle to give it a little bit more height like that. Well, I guess variety. It didn't get any taller. It actually got shorter. And I actually really like all of the bamboo being thrown in here. I think it kind of works well being in the savanna. So we can end with something a little like that. I think it works kind of enough. Maybe we also do some oak trap doors right there just for a little bit of extra depth. Okay, I like that. And now the village needs a name. But I'm going to leave that up to you all as I might eventually come and transform this village. Who knows? Sometimes I can't help myself. I love building villages, okay? But for now, I'm going to focus on not building the village and focus on building a road through the village. And our road kind of mess of things is cleaned up all there throughout here. It just goes right between all the village houses out to the far side where I want to start reintroducing a little bit more of that course to transition back into the darker road. And that is it. I am completely out of course dirt. Now, how much gravel do I still have? Not much. Okay, that is a problem. Quick trip into the nether, where maybe we have a little bit of gravel still hanging out in the bartering farms. I feel like I've been raiding this a lot recently, and I'm not too a pull. Right, I've checked every chest so far, minus this last wing and no gravel. <laughs> ah, gravel! Just under five stacks. Far less than half of what I hoped for. Which means while we're here in the nether, my elytra is almost dead for one, and so is my soak touch shovel. So let's fix them up. To finish off the road, I need to fly around and find a gravel mountain to mine up. As we're gonna need a lot of it, so I need a pretty big mountain. And if I remember correctly, north of my end stronghold portal, there should be a gravel mountain. Hopefully somewhere out here there's gravel. Yeah. Hey, there it is. Perfect. And with that, I got to work mining out the entire mountain as I want to restock up the storage room as well today so we can hopefully have enough gravel to finish off the entire roadway with some leftover in storage. I even had to jump over to another gravel mountain to fill up the remaining boxes. But here I have a very dead shovel and four full sugar boxes of gravel. Since I'm kind of nearby to the stronghold, I want to jump down there real quick and fix up the shovel. Here's my fabulous entrance right here. We'll have to fix this up one of these days. Yeah, it also goes through an underwater cave. But once we're inside the end, we can run out and destroy a few Endermen. And there we go. Time to get back to the road project, where I want to take three of these shulker boxes that we just filled up and throw them in the gravel storage. And the fourth, we can turn into course dirt, where once again, I am tearing up the grassy biome to extend the road out ever closer to the desert biome. But first, I've got to go across this entire plains biome. Headed back over this way real quick here. As since we're close to the village, I wanted to run back through and add in some of our fences with the lanterns on top. Not going to be perfect, but that's enough light. There's like four iron golems in this village, so they should be able to keep themselves safe. They've done it so far. Right, there they're set up going out both sides. And we can stay the night on the village. Now I'm just randomly going biome to biome to reach my way over the desert, as I know it's generally that direction. And check this out up here. At the end of the road, we've come across another village right down here on the side of the cliff. And I absolutely love this thing. This is so cool. We'll get to the next road segment soon but first looking at this valley i had the idea of adding in an ancient rune watchtower with an archway covering the road just a quick flight back home first 
down into the quarry we go because i want to grab some tough blocks mossy cobble cobble and maybe a little stone too this straight stretch on the road here should do pretty well so if we come over here and go one two three four five six seven eight nine that'll give us a nine by nine box here and then i want to have the wall kind of going a little bit out this way and disappearing into the hillside then we can have an archway coming across that's gonna be probably this tall so we can easily get under by horse and i think that'll do it then we can do a little circular tower right over here with another wall stretching across here where i actually want some of it to be fully gone and crumbled maybe we'll bring in some slabs and things later but i want this to look really ancient and run down like nobody's using it at all building ruined structures actually takes a while since you need to first build it normally and then come back in and ruin it so i started with a gradient going from tough to mossy cobble to cobblestone here's the first tower done and i think it'll work really well unfortunately tough block doesn't have slabs or stairs so we're gonna have to bring in something else to get a little bit more fortification where i think we can use stone bricks underneath the gate itself i'm thinking we just bring a few guys like this all the way across as if they really fortify this because they you don't want the archway itself to break and block the road that's baby then to break up how flat it is i'm thinking in a few spaces we just extend some of our stone bricks hanging out as if the stonework is starting to crumble down a little bit like that perfect with the base shape in i ran around adding in all of the cobble slabs and stairs to really mess up the shape and i got a bit carried away building the other tower too i decided to top it off with our mossy cobblestone so it looks more aged and things are kind of growing on top then i thought of for a fun pop of color we could take some of our lilacs and with a bunch more of them we can create a little pattern up the hillside here i guess we get a secret bonus field today but i think that works really well last step i just need to finish off the wall going all the way over to this side and that should do it threw some shaders on and Ooh, i like that oh that fits the place really well just as something a little bit different along the pathway as we continue down the road with a nice little 45 minute build done and it's time to keep the road going as we're about to reach the next village nope 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 cover it up cover it up cover everything up no we don't need any of that thank you how does the village settle next to this and they stay alive there's so many mobs why are there so many mobs eat pork chop there's so many oh my gosh they've all just been hanging out under here as i've been building okay all right you know what they're all dead i yep i made it out completely unscathed i'm gonna put a few torches down here yeah I'd make them spawn a little lower we're just gonna do a quick little fix and cover it just gonna hide the problem underground and that should do it nope that's gross much better but here we are inside the village kind of I think I should probably run through here and clear out a few trees that are in the middle of the road this is gonna be a pretty weird road getting through here <laughs> how do I figure that out then we'll come through here and down this and then I have to go back up that. Who's in charge of building the roads here? And then we have to again come down here and then oh, it's the desert. Wait. Oh, I didn't realize we're so close. Oh, we are actually so close. As soon as we get through the village, it's just that. Transitioning into those path blocks again for the road through the village, this required a lot of terraforming to the point where I split the road at the bottom to reach the base of the village and also exit the far side, where it looks like whoever lived inside this pen is pretty long gone and they escaped. But if I take down this just a layer here, that should allow me to smooth this out enough that we can get the path up to the top. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That bee just terrified me. I thought that was a creeper and I was not ready at all. I'm just gonna make my little path and go up here. Yep, I just, maybe I need to go sit down for a second. Bee scare aside, we have now exited the far side of the village, which means it's time to start peppering that corster back in and transition back to the main path. I know there's so many more blocks I could be using for texturing the road, but something about just a really simple corster road going through the Minecraft world helps all the details that we add in elsewhere pop out that much more i don't want the road to be super chaotic and i know we're a good chunk into it already so talking about it now might not make that much sense but i don't want the road to be drawing attention away from everything else that i'm building inside the world so we're going with something relatively chill this might 
break a few minecrafters brains but adding detail for the sake of detail does not make your build any better speaking of which though as we come across the top of this hill we kind of enter into the brand new section of the world with a desert out there so if we tear this hill down and maybe we exit right about at this layer we can kind of hide it with some perspective Something like this cut through here should do pretty well. And then we can just work in some slabs, but that's all I got. And that'll work for the path coming down. And somehow I lost my ender chest, so I don't have any more spruce on me. We'll take the flight back home in a sec, but I wanted to try stacking up these rocks here and just make them a little bit more decorative. Partially as a way to block the sight line on that side, but also I just think it's gonna look cool. And we can end with something like that. Now, hopefully these rockets will get me home. Okay, that is not that that long of a trip that was only seven rockets to get here and probably didn't even need the last but i've got so many extra ender chests it's all right since i'm back at the city though i am pretty low on coarse dirt so i should probably make some more nearly another box full and that should do it i know i just grabbed more dirt and we're almost done but i had an idea we'll flag back to make this world feel more alive and connected we need more than just a road and since we're out next to the ocean i want a boat sailing by off in the distance just there on the edge of our render distance i think it's gonna look really good now building boats for me is a huge pain point it's something i want to improve at a bunch but i just haven't figured it out yet so i spent a while in a creative world bashing my head against a wall i've got a pretty good idea now i just need to get the materials to build it i want to make this colorful so we need orange and pink wool for the sails and a healthy amount of spruce and dark oak materials as well for the whole of the ship plus a tiny bit of wax cut copper for the water line with some cherry wood to add to that pink pop of color this sugar has most of what I need right in here and we can grab some of the dark oak to build out the hole and then set up the rest of this mess on top this seems like a pretty good distance offshore and I'd like to stop flying please and there we go I'm thinking right about there we're gonna start the base of it and I can get rid of this pillar the thing I've learned recently about making boats is they don't need to be that deep underneath when it's like just a small little trade ship for the back we can just do something a little like this now I need to get some extra shape onto it where our stairs and full blocks are gonna come in like this on both sides and now i just built the rest of the stupid boat and it's kind of starting to look like a boat that that should do it now we're above look at me doing boat building things to finish off the base before we get into the fun parts with all of our cherry wood i want to extend some of the copper around here so it can kind of border the water line or something like this now along the back before we get too far up i want to include a rudder design here that i got from one of my moderators blocky that looks really good so we can just wrap some spruce trap doors around it throw a slab on top with a final trap door on the side and that'll do our first sail is going to extend right up from here and then for this point i want it to be where we're showing a few of the goods and my thought is it's coming from the desert and we have some sort of salt rock or something here in the bottom that we can show with a few oak trap doors. Ship is starting to take shape over here and I've got a small way to squeeze down underneath. Never mind, I do not. All right, we're gonna have to get rid of that and then we can come inside. I could get out, thank you. And I had to throw some trap doors in there just so that we can seal it off a little bit better, but I think we can just extend that around the back here. And then bringing in a few barrels, we can just throw those around the side like that. Or maybe some chest to balance it a touch better with barrels on that side. And then we're gonna have a back sail like here that I wanna surround with some trap doors just to give it a little bit more shape. Here in the front, though, I want to bring on our campfires that we can extinguish. And then for some subtle lighting on the ship, I thought we could use soul lanterns. With a grindstone right up there for the steering wheel and some extra stuff down here. With the hole done, I just need to throw in the sails I already designed in the creative world. And I gotta say, this is looking amazing. Heck, even from the path up here, I really love that off in the distance. I put the little flags on the top going way in this direction so it looks like it caught all of the wind and hopefully doesn't go just straight into shore sure that's probably not the best thing on the inside i did set up a little base camp for myself down here so we got a bed if we need it we've got an ender chest over here hanging apparently i'm throwing those everywhere in the world and we got barrels i can fill with random stuff if i ever have junk in my inventory now finally time to reach the desert itself we must finish the road which we've seen enough road building so far today so here i am flying across the jungle edge biome to reach the desert 
we have done it we are officially building a road inside of a desert biome right about now yep nope sparse jungle now we're in a desert biome Woo! yay definitely yeah uh-huh first try we're first up before we continue out the road i really want to collect these dead bushes there's no way to farm them without just absolutely destroying biomes so when i'm out here i really like picking them up from here i want to transition our road away from the coarse dirt slowly about like this and then we can incorporate our regular dirt i think it'll just fit the biome because it's not quite as dark now that we're officially here i'm super excited to get building so let's add a desert trading post here at the end of the road i first just need some blocks to build it while i throw together all of the materials for this build i decided to design this building live on stream earlier this week in a bit of a building school type stream where i talked through the entire process that i personally go through for building in this lovely blocky game chat seemed to absolutely love the stream and we're really engaged in the entire process so if you want some building tips or anything like that i'll go ahead and leave a link in the description you can click to check out the full VOD and watch along. Now to add this build into the world, as all nine of these shulkers are full of the materials I need. Just time to fly all the way over one more time. Starting on this build, I thought a decorative archway right over here could look really good and would be pretty cool to have entering into the desert. Up here, I want to use a pop of color with our red sandstone going all the way around so we can kind of tackle two birds with one cobblestone here of adding in the pop of color as well a little, little bit more depth. Which brings us to here with a very important lantern. To help speed this up, I'm adding in the base shapes and window frames for the three boxes I want to include on the building itself. Up to the top layer here, we found a pretty fun trim block that we can use with our chiseled bookshelves using the side and back textures. From the outside, we get this really cool block. And it's pretty fun being able to create your own brand new blocks in Minecraft just looking at the side textures. Heck, even the top one here is pretty cool. Then up here to get out of the hot desert sun, we need to bring in a few campfires to create yet another awning which i'm really loving it on these builds just to add some extra shape we just don't really want the fire part of it probably not really needed in the desert already warm enough here on the back i had a pretty flat face so i'm thinking we can just bring in some of our stairs going all the way up so that we can actually you know access this upper floor And something like this should work out pretty well. I've been putting in the decorations up top and I'm really liking this simple place up here where you can kind of see out over everything. Then down here is where I'm working now. We got another seating section where people might be making deals at the trading post. And I was thinking we could take some of our oak trap doors along here to create another cover. But this time we're gonna need some string inside the middle. You can kind of see it up here, but if you're down below, you really can't at all. But now if we jump up top, we can take a little bit of our orange, our pink, and and take it all the way across with the carpet which looks pretty good and we also get that tiny bit of a pop of color from down here too which i love now we should probably focus on the front here as i've been starting throwing in a little space and i want to extend some of our spruce up like a so and create a bit of a covered awning over here and i think we can just bring our spruce in like a so that sun looks so good coming down through the archway oh i love it we love it when a build comes together now up here we're gonna add in even more color with cherry and warped and we're just going to alternate these it's kind of a theme that i do through most of it and so that's going to carry its way all the way across a little like this and because i can't help myself let's jump out here with a flower pot and our fern for a hanging plant then we can block the railing off on this side with a little spruce trap door <laughs> and we could put a small stand right here on the corner and maybe we take that again up here to the top with our dead bush and a jungle leaf on top last addition is a small stable on the very end Okay, and a little area on the back over here for some more storage underneath the mosaic. Now, naturally, I just built this entire road, right? So I want to set up another portal here on the inside so they never really need to worry about walking the entire way again. Ah, much better. I also want this to work as a bit of a storage room for myself. So I want to bring in a bunch of chests back here that we can use to just throw a bunch of junk in as we need. And that should be plenty of space. We've got some barrels back hidden underneath here. And then the eventual shulker monster can go on the oak planks. Grabbing the coordinates. Now to fly back home one final time to build a brand new portal on the roof. Somewhere right about here should do the trick. 
and it does got two new palm trees thrown in with that guy right here and then a shorter one around the back and to mark the start of this new chapter i want to find a friend i want to find a camel to bring back to the trading post and there should be one over here in the village somewhere please camel camel that's a hay bale not a camel actually not a camel if you didn't know not a camel no luck on village number one he must have wandered off maybe village number two yes there's a camel hello my friend yes oh he's so slow oh but i love him look at the little ears he's and zoom okay he's he's okay he's a little he's a little slow he's a little slow but we're gonna make it home all right buddy can we get across the water yeah nope 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 please swim i'm starting to see where the first camel might have went and now buddy you gotta hang out over on this side of the river with me in the trading post you can hang out in here if i shut both these doors you should be able to hang out there and help any travelers on their journey across the desert we've completed the desert trading post meaning it's time to expand into this new biome if you're excited for this new hardcore adventure please leave a like on this video and with that i've got something a little crazy planned for this biome so i'll catch y'all on the flip side